find yourself in, thinking about surgery? Um, right from when I finished fifth year, mm -hmm. I knew surgery is my habit. Mm. Uh, again, I think I, I have some uh, respect for Kikuyu Hospital because even when I was a student, I had a bit of encounters, encounter yeah, yeah. with Kikuyu Hospital mm. because I came as a student mm -hmm. for elective. Mm. And again, it was all surgical. I met a Dr. Topo, a Dr. Mm. Murilla, and they really oh, orientated Murilla, the orthopedic surgeon. Yes, so I got orientated in, in, in surgery, and I enjoyed it. So even when I went back to university, it was actually my best subject. Yeah. So I enjoyed it, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. So even, ophthalmology, even when I went to ophthalmology, I knew it was in the surgical field. So yeah. it was really looking for surgical Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then now you, you, you apply for ophthalmology. Which school you are in again? Yeah, University of Nairobi again. <laughs> <laughs> when you are talking about ophthalmology, there's no other uh, university in the country. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. Only. You finished two years? You finished three years. Three years. Yes. Ophthalmology is three years? Yes. <laughs> okay. All those... Uh, Subspeciality... Okay, all those consultant... Careers, master's, degree. master's degrees are three years. Minimum of three years. Okay, all right. For you to get good service, you have to invest. And it's not cheap, isn't it? Medicine not, is not cheap. not cheap. Medicine is not a cheap course. Yes. And this, well, our time, luckily, we went through the subject, uh, the, the government. Even before you, you go to, to master's level, mm -hmm. the whole medical, no, medicine is very expensive affair. It is very expensive. Actually. So you find that if, without the government's possession, mm -hmm. a lot of people would want to go to that and their parents cannot afford you it. Can't I don't know what happened to them now. But you can't afford it. Otherwise, master's level, in, in my time, and I think even now, it's, mm -hmm. it's a different ball game because mm -hmm. you could come, you could have worked for an institution that sponsors you back to, to mm -hmm. like me, I was partially sponsored because wow. I mean, a salary was paid by Kikuyu as well. I was there, wow. working there as a medical student. Officer. Uh, officer. So mm -hmm. I can get some sponsorship. You can have some pocket so money too. So of course those who are sponsored by the government mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of others can sponsor themselves. They have worked out there, they can do some part-time jobs and mm -hmm. you can you can juggle. But it's not easy though. It's not easy. It's not an easy walk. It's not an easy walk. And I tell you when you do medicine and especially Registrar level, master's level, it is harder than internship, isn't yes. it? It is tough. It is now the real deal. It is now the real deal. The real <laughs> it's not funny and it's <laughs> not easy. Then now you do your ophthalmology, you love it, you, you join the ophthalmologist uh, fellowship, isn't it? Um, when you finish ophthalmology, you have a master's in ophthalmology. Mm -hmm. And uh, I came back to Kikuyu Hospital, mm -hmm. I worked there, and now again, mm -hmm. I thought ophthalmology is just a tiny little eye that I can do everything. And you go there and you wonder, it's like I have entered another medical school. Because me, it, has it has many has disciplines. Hey. Then you have been asked, which discipline of ophthalmology you are Don't even And it's like, what? <laughs> Let me tell the viewers when, how I met my, uh, Dr. Mundia. I was working in this facility. I was in sectional head of uh, medical surgical ward. I see a doctor walking. He didn't even see me. Then I, I thought, is this an intern? But no, this age is not for intern. Who is he? He was assisted by somebody, a nurse who knew him. Then I asked later, who is he? Consultant I. Okay, fine. That's all. Then I was deployed to the eye unit. That is where I met him. I think I was allocated to work with you. Then I have no idea at the stay in the eye. For what? Me in my nursing career. Who stay in the eye? Me stay in the eye. What is that? Why are you staying in the eye? Then they tell me at dilate. For what? Then I get to know that there is a speciality called this. Another one. What do they do for heaven's sake? My lecturer of ophthalmology nursing school. Why didn't you tell me these things? Neuro what? What is what Neurophamology. Is? Yes, 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 yes. Let's <laughs> no, please. That is physics, right? But that's physics. That's biology. But for you to hack it, that's physics. To hack it, okay. <laughs> Easy to hack. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about you've seen there's so many subspecialities in ophthalmology. You are a consultant ophthalmologist. 
There are so many subspecialities in ophthalmology, right? Yeah. Where did you find yourself first? I did general. I mean, you are seeing from A to Z of the mm -hmm. You come with a niche, I look at you. You come with a retinal problem, I look at you. Mm -hmm. You come with glaucoma, I look at you. I treated everything. Mm -hmm. uh, that's general of the model. It's just like a general doctor. Then I add the game again to study more. Yeah. Now, again, as a general of the model, I now you, you learn that there are these subspecialists. Sub in of the mm -hmm. disciplines, and you are being asked, where do you want to go? I thought you have finished. <laughs> I thought I have finished everything. Imagine. No. Now choose which specialty you want to see. And you find, say, oh, yes, I need to know more of this. And the way I realized I, I did mine is, I think as a general ophthalmologist, I felt I need to know more of the hard ones. And I think in my life, that's, what, that's how I, find, mm. I found myself. I want that challenging to know more about the challenges. Na, na vile others, we go for easy things. Like. Not easy, because <laughs> they, you don't want to be faced by a, a patient mm. and you feel blank. Oh, so yeah. it's like you want to learn more so that you are The equipped. easy ones, you can hack them you, so easily. You, yeah, it is easy. Oh, oh. But the ones you don't know, you feel like you are limited. That's true. So you would want to go to the books and unravel. So that's that true. when the patient comes, it's not because you want challenge challenging things, but to have it's because you want to equip yourself. To be armed. To be armed yeah. when they come. Yeah. And this thing called strabismus, squint. Always, I felt like, whenever I'm faced by this, I'm scared. Tell people what yeah. a squint is. A squint is eyes that look... Each other. So either to each other or away from, away each, from other. each other. They are not aligned. Yeah, when I look at you, they're, they're either this way, they're looking towards the inner... The, to the nose. They're looking to their nose, or they're looking out, oh, yeah. or one of them is oh. looking the other way. Yes, that's squint. That's squint. And this thing, as a general ophthalmologist, used to really like, okay. challenge me, bother me. Mm. It's, whenever a patient comes in, I can't offer anything. So I went to reading mm. about it. Mm. And that's why I wanted to know more. Mm. And then I even went out of the country mm. to read about it. Read about squint. And I found that this squint is done in a discipline called pediatrics and strabismus. So I combine now to do eye disease, eye diseases in children, in that is kids. Mm -hmm. Plus now this subject that used to determine. You are looking at the how many are you in the country? Maybe five. Kai, people Yani, I am so honored to be seated next to the only five squint specialists of Kenya. Isn't it? Yeah, talk to me nicely. <laughs> if you're coming from whichever side, talk to me nicely. Not only squint pits, but all the ophthalmic issues, right? Yeah. The only things, actually when you you hack the hard ones, the easy ones are walk over. Yeah, Very. those ones. You, Just to walk over. Do that. So you yeah. came back. So I came back. Uh -huh. yeah. You found yourself now totally in squint. Now when I come back, I'm still thinking I'm going to do the broad Botanics. ophthalmology, of course I will now be dealing better, the will better. Mm -hmm. But I find myself, uh, after one or two years, everybody is sending me squints because they have realized you can do, uh, you can, <laughs> you can do those things. And then you find yourself overwhelmed by other things and you start mm -hmm. dropping other diseases. Yeah. And now you say, okay, let, let me focus, me focus on, this, on pediatrics and strabismus. And how, that's how I am now called as we are seated here, the clinic is piling. The clinic is piling and if you come to Dr. Mundia's clinic, please don't disturb him. He doesn't have the mood of no nonsense. Focus is Watoto, isn't it? Yes. He, he, he doesn't entertain this thing we are entertaining here <laughs> when he's focusing. He runs surgeries, he corrects squints and so many people, so many people have gotten benefited by his surgeries. So many in the country. I took five in Kenya. He's one. He is a visiting consultant in various hospitals in Kenya, right? Yes. But majorly stationed in a one particular hospital in Nairobi. Talk to me. DM, comment down below if you want to know where he's stationed. We will respond back. Now, um, if you become minister today of, is it minister? Permanent secretary of, <laughs> of health. What will you do different? Uh, 
tough question. <laughs> but I would look into uh, health and health insurance. Yeah. I think that's where, yeah. as I am dealing with my patients, when I'm talking to my patients, after you have diagnosed and you want to do one or two things, the limiting factor becomes financing. That's true. Very true. So if I was to do anything, is to look at how to finance health, health financing yeah. is done in Kenya. Wow. That's where I want to Yeah. So that we don't get poor because my mother is unwell with glaucoma, isn't it? Because every month I have to pay bills. As we finish, we pick one condition and finalize with it so that if somebody wants to know about any other, they will now go and chat and we will comment on them. Let's pick allergy. I'm picking allergy because I am a victim. They spoil my eyes. I never knew that they complicate you up to surgery and they can even make you low vision patient. Talk about allergy. Um, allergy, if the word allergy means reaction to something, you react to something. Either you sniff mm -hmm. some agent and you sneeze. Mm -hmm. The eyes cannot sneeze. What they do is to feel itchy when some agents come to the eye. Mm -hmm. Either dust or mold or pollen or sprays or smoke, they are irritants. Not everybody would react to such irritants, mm -hmm. but special, particular people will react to irritants differently. Mm -hmm. You may be allergic to smoke but not dust. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people who are allergic have al eye allergy, have a, a big number of things they will react to mm -hmm. because their body. Um, overreact to such Something. agents. Mm -hmm. And that's what we call allergy. And allergy in eyes will present as itchiness, redness, mm -hmm. they are teary, mm -hmm. and of course, you feel like sand. With their yeah, sandy feeling, and with long term itchiness and rubbing, sometimes mm -hmm. you get dark eyes like she Like has. mine. <laughs> <laughs> Because she keeps on rubbing. Zoom on mine. <laughs> no, Don't zoom on mine. I'm better. I am better. <laughs> at least, at least yeah. I got his own belly. <laughs> and this allergy usually happens in children because children have um, low immunity, higher immunity, and they react to things faster and more vigorously than when we are older, when our immunity have been obtruded by either diseases or age. So you don't react to agents very vigorously. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now I have itched my eyes. And one thing I want to highlight about itching eyes, because I'm a victim, please don't copy me. You itch, you are given a drug, you put two days, the itching goes down, you don't comply. You don't finish drugs, isn't it? That's <coughs> happening. Comply, finish your treatment. And then when this treatment you've used it, do not reuse again after one month. Do not share. Yes. Do not share drugs of allergy. Do not self-prescribe, isn't it? Yes. Don't go to the counter, buy drugs for eyes. Now, I have itched eyes, I've itched there now. They form something along the cornea. Talk about it. Now, um, itch, when, you itch, when you feel itchy, it is probably a reflex or almost anchromatic for that you bring your, your hand to rub. Mm -hmm. So if I treat any patient, my in, I insist that don't rub your eyes because rubbing eyes distorts mm -hmm. the eye. Mm -hmm. There are so many coats of the eye. Of course, people will say, yeah, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. But the black part of the eye, which you see in front, is part of the coat of the eye, and it's called cornea. Mm -hmm. So when you constantly rub your eyes, you thin out that layer. It's a layer with a thickness. Thins. And if you rub it, you can thin it. Okay. Now, the eye is like a, like a balloon. Inside there, there is fluid which has pressure. So if you thin out any cuts of the eye, like the cornea because of rubbing, the pressure inside will actually push out that mm. thin part. It's kind of, it bulges out. Yeah? And that thinning and bulging out of that cornea can cause what we call keratoconus. It's a bulging out of the cornea because it's thin. Okay? And that same layer of the eye that you see as dark in front of the eye is actually, if you look, go closer, you see it's a clear 
is a clear layer. Mm -hmm. The darkness comes from the reflection of the iris behind. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's actually like the focusing element of the eye. So an image coming into the eye will be focused into the same iris. part of the eye, mm -hmm. which is called retina back at the back. It is focused by that layer. So think of a, of a lens. Think Again, of physics. Yeah, physics. A lens. Think of physics. You are you are you are focusing a light through the lens. So that lens is in front of your eye is what focuses light. Light. So think about now when you have rubbed it, it has bulged it out. It is distorted in in shape. Mm -hmm. So the focus is also distorted. So yeah. you start seeing poorly, mm -hmm. blurry, mm -hmm. zigzag lines. Mm -hmm. So your vision is distorted and you come to me saying, okay, I can't I see can well, see. or I can see distortion, so several things. Again, when this continues, when the bulging continues, you may even break that layer, mm -hmm. and it may form even scar. Scar is an opacity now in front of that, in, in that layer, and now that one actually blocks your vision. Please remind the viewers that this now has become a common thing. It's very common mm. because, again, being in uh, tropical uh, countries, mm -hmm. we are very rich in Pollen. these agents. Dust. Pollen from maize and flowers. We have a lot of flowers which are perennial. I mean, Trees. We don't, we don't, you can't escape time, it. We have a lot of smoke, even from the roads. So we have a lot of irritants, and a lot of us, especially children, they have this disease, and they don't know they should not have their eyes. Oh, so yeah. they have a lot of them. Be coming to us with those two stories. And you know you can't resist the urge of itching your eyes. Let me tell me I'm a victim. You promise yourself that I will not itch my eye. You will find me do this, do this. I'm not itching. Then you put your... It is so sweet. It is the, those sweet eyes. That, it is the sweetest thing on earth. Have you ever itched your eyes? I got to painful. <laughs> Before it becomes painful, yeah, it really. is sweet. Mm -hmm. Like you feel like removing this eye, putting down, then scratching. Then before you know it, you feel sand. That's the warning. Stop. Stop. But still you're having the urge. So that's when now you are really Ooh. distorting your eye, your eye shape, your cornea shape, and all that. And now talking about that, at the point where now you have keratom, that budging out or coning out of the cornea is called keratoconus. And now that one becomes another medical Gold condition. Pain. So before you get that, get treated in time so that you're not itching, you're not rubbing. Mm. Otherwise when you are off medicine, you rub. You rub. You rub. And like you said, like uh, uh, Emily said, when you, 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 you use medicines for two days. You feel better. You feel better and you stop. You stop. They are, the mechanisms of treatment, you, you, they are not complete. But yeah. when you complete the course, it the recurrence is uh, very few. Yes, so finish your med uh, you are, you are dro drops the way you are uh, prescribed. Now, uh, when you have keratoconus, mm -hmm. and keratoconus, okay, allergy becomes the biggest cause, cause of keratoconus. Yani, allergy becomes the cause of, of this bulging, bulging of the cornea, of the called keratoconus for the layman. <laughs> yeah. yeah, now we must have what keratoconus. Yes. It's just the conning. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, <coughs> of course, there are other causes. Mm -hmm. You know that there are families that are predisposed to that. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. even mm -hmm. they tell you, I don't teach, I don't have allergy. But you, but you are predisposed to so there are few that have that condition. So, we have talked about families that are predisposed to that. We have mm -hmm. not talked about allergy in length because mm -hmm. she is a victim and if she <laughs> continues know. rubbing, she will have it. I'm but always, she has not had it. <laughs> I'm always in his office asking for medicine that I use for two days. <laughs> yeah, you are a bad example. <laughs> now, um, you could have uh, overexposure to ultraviolet light. And tropics, we also have that. So mm -hmm. That can also cause keratoconus. So it's a bit advisable, of course, to have something to shield your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, of course, there are those people who use, because of the poor vision, they have been using uh, probably uh, contact lenses. Mm -hmm. And sometimes ill fitting contact lenses can cause distortion of the cornea and keratoconus. 
Of course, there are chronic illnesses in the eyes that other inflammatory diseases mm -hmm. have that could cause that kind of uh, thinning mm -hmm. and protocol. And uh, pro uh, others are also related to other diseases like Down syndrome, yeah, yeah, children, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they, pro they are predisposed to that. To mm -hmm. To mm -hmm. And some autism, mm -hmm. we've seen the, that also, mm -hmm. autism, okay. because of their uncontrolled behavior and mm -hmm. rubbing of the eyes, they could cause that. They could kind of cause that. So those are the causes, and probably now, probably it's treatment, yeah. corners. Yeah. Very early when people that the bulging starts. People will see that they are not seeing well and you'll be confused for short sightedness. Oh yeah. Um so you'll be given glasses, simple glasses, and it should be it it will manage it, it for a while. It. For a and while. probably you'll be given glasses that also have a limited amount of light coming to you. Yeah. Either from your gadgets or from or sunlight. From sunlight. So you have what you call photochromatic that's sunlight or anti glare from your gadgets. Mm -hmm. So most uh, allergic patients will give that mm -hmm. so that also they it they decrease the amount of light coming to the eye and the heat in the eye decreases and reduces their itchiness mm -hmm. because also a lot of itch in the eye will cause itchiness in an predisposed person. Mm -hmm. That is for the very early I cases, stages. Uh, stages, and of course this probably will continue and especially if you don't see an ophthalmologist that they don't know what's happening, you just say my short sightedness is increasing, they're increasing the number of my the degree in my glasses. Mm -hmm. Think of people, think of people who are coming from uh, further regions away from, you know, we don't have many ophthalmologists in the mm -hmm. counties yeah. and government has not uh, really emphasized, kind of, they have but they have not. <laughs> ophthalmologists are disciplined that has not been given all the power that it needs. Yes. That's very true. It's not like Obsgena. You can get an Obsgena every county in this country. You can get a surgeon every county in this country, but you cannot get an ophthalmologist every county in this country. So by the time you are reaching to us, as here, wherever we are, Keratoconus is at a stage where he's going to address it next. Yes, and this continues. Probably you have uh, these people who come to the villages to do some eye checkups, mm -hmm. we call mobile clinics, yeah. and they are changing glasses until they tell you we cannot give you more and glasses more. because the power, the, is, the not, power yeah. is not, or we cannot determine what power you need. And they tell you can, you should go to a hospital and you mm -hmm. come to us and you say, oh yes, your cornea is thin, it is distorted, it is irregular, and your vision is you distorted. Know, even before they come to you, <laughs> they go to a glasses shop. Yeah. And they the, usually go to a glasses shop, they are given others, just because I'm in business, eh? I give you negative one, negative two. And they realize they are not, it, it's not working. Not it's working. frustrating them, it's good. Mm. They cannot see, they are start, starting to copy from others, or mm. they are walking to the board and the mm. teacher says, go and see the doctor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a choice, either at our level, you can probably try glasses, if you mm -hmm. can. Mm. If you can't, then we advise you to have contact lenses, mm -hmm. and there are several types. Mm. Contact lenses, you will push in with contact lenses until a certain point mm -hmm. where the conning is again too much and probably contact lenses can never, cannot stick in the eye, they are falling off and we tell you, no, look, now you have to go to surgery. That's why she said, it's a simple thing called yeah, allergy yeah. but can land you into surgery. It, into a very big thing. And you can see now you are saying to say surgery and surgery means we remove your lens, your, len your cornea which is now thinned and distorted and or has an opacity mm -hmm. and give you another one. A new one. A from a donor. From a donor. Who is from, from another country. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, we don't have a donor. We don't have eye bank here. Like we, 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 we have blood donated by Kenyans given to Kenyans. Mm -hmm. we, we don't, don't have, have it eyes in Kenya. donated by Kenyans given to Kenyans. But people don't know whether they need to donate a cornea, do they? They don't. We yeah. have not sensitized them yeah, a, yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot. And yeah. it's not said sensitized a lot here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. But in US and developed countries you find people carrying cards saying when um, harvest my cornea. Harvest my cornea help somebody. So we need to do that so that because the disease and even the magnitude and the intensity of the disease is worse here. It is worse here. And them. Yes, yes. Uh, so we find that if you need surgery and you need to uh, transplant your cornea, mm -hmm. you have to go all the way. Import it all the way from US 
Kind and the process. process that that takes place, uh, on a, it's, a, it's not a one week affair, is it? Yeah, you, you see, now that is importation issues and buying issues yeah. because that's money. It's money. The US will not give you to pay tomorrow. No, 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 no. it's cash. Pay and we, we, we and don't tell, that's why when you're supposed to go for surgery, you are told pay up front. Yes, because the front. Kenya, as I said, our country has not given ophthalmology the noise that it needs that they can import and bank in Kemsa for people. <laughs> so it's Kemsa that has our drugs and everything. Well, well, differently <laughs> because, of course, we cannot, it is a tissue. <laughs> We a can't tissue, it. tissue cannot be stored, so there's no cancer here. <laughs> there's no cancer for Okonia. But it's a good thought. It's a good could thought, be, by the way. We have a central yes. area where we could be yes. just asking and they put it to us. Yeah. Instead of every hospital. Sourcing for it. But the best... If you are a minister, let me address minister, or anybody in health. If you are in that office making decisions for us, kindly, Konya. Uh, is an issue affecting eye, eye hospitals. I know eye hospitals are not many in, can, in Kenya, but no, the no. eye hospitals are suffering. If you can import corneas for Kenya, the way you import drugs and store in Kemsa, import corneas and store somewhere. So that when we have a patient, we don't have to go through the whole process of importing. Simply. Singly, maybe I can go to a Kemsa. Eh, hey, Kemsa. I get. want a cornea next week. Yes. Can you do that for me? And then you don't and have they to. Know they have the, the, the infrastructure exactly. to bring it into this. Exactly. Now you see, we've addressed the government at your house. But the best of what they could do is to have local eye banks. Yes, yes. Ethiopia here they have. They have. But they are not selling to us because they need. They, they can't produce enough for their needs. So, if we have our local eye banks, send the people to donate corneas, mm -hmm. harvest them, process them here, Still. that would be that would the, the best. Minister Amiskia. Amiskia. Mm. <laughs> That's current corneas. Yes. Uh, we go to theater? Brought, brought by very simple... Uh, itching! Lakini <laughs> itching ni tamu. Yes, but they are not helped to itch. But please avoid, avoid itching. itching. I am saying in Itamu because when you start, it doesn't stop. Please, whenever you see your child itching your eyes, and if you are a doctor pursuing medicine and having an interest in, in doing this study, you can visit, you can try to see what you can do. Talk to me nicely. We can mentor you so well to become that pediatric cornea. squint specialist, and isn't it? Specialist. And cornea specialist. Cornea specialist, the, the surgery of keratoconus is called PKP. In full? Well, the surgery differs, mm -hmm. and one of them is to remove parts of the layer mm. of that cornea. You can actually replace some parts. Patches. Yeah, so it's called partial uh, transplant or keratoplasty. Mm. <laughs> okay. Partial. Partial keratoplasty. Or you can remove the whole bit, the whole part, like through and through the thickness of the cornea, mm -hmm. come out with a button out of it and replace it. Mm -hmm. That's what is called penetrating or full thickness. Mm -hmm. That's what people, a lot of people do. And can you remind the viewers that whenever you do this surgery, it's it's by God's grace. Some others reject. Yes, because others it's, reject. A, it's a foreign tissue. It's a foreign tissue. So after the transplant, if you are lucky, your body doesn't Fight it. You You're good. Live with it. Otherwise, we keep you on medicine and keep checking that you don't fight it. We give you medicines mm -hmm. to keep your body not fighting it. Mm -hmm. And some, of course, fail. And and when, how did it begin? Simple rub. Simple rub. Simple rubbing. Thank you, Doctor Mundia. Thank you for agreeing to talk to our viewers, thank you for agreeing to teach those students who are in Form 4, who are in Form 3, who are in Form 1, deciding or wishing to do medicine and didn't know this, the, the fields to go. They didn't even know there is an ophthalmic PIDS squint specialist. They didn't even know that. They didn't know that we have five. Imagine if we had ten, imagine if we had fifteen, we will avoid all these complications and we will even be many and then we will pursue the minister or the permanent secretary to make us a blood bank. And a bank will, be, bank. will make sense because there will be consumers everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The only, uh, probably before I end, mm -hmm. uh, if I was talking to a person who's thinking about the career, mm -hmm. if I was to wind back, mm -hmm. of, of course if I went back I would do medicine again. Oh. I would do my first time. 
Oh. Because you find yourself, sometimes it's God's grace that you find yourself enjoying what you do. Imagine. After going after to the forest. After getting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After getting and others going to the Some forest. Don't. But my advice is if you want, if you think of being a discipline, let your parents or somebody find you, somebody who's done it and in it. So that they expose you to That's these true. other issues that probably come later. That's true. It's a discipline you have liked, engineering, yes. Go and know what type what of engineer engineers do we have. And what do they do? Yes. And what would one do? I mean, yes. They will get you to know that there's just more, more than, than doing mathematics and physics. So parents <laughs> need to expose their children. Please don't be like the, the, the generation that has ended. Has it ended? Oh, as we have finished careering, is that English? Yeah, the one that, uh, <laughs> that I need. The one that I Finding ourselves in murky waters, the team I mentor with, you usually say you are an accountant because the accounting teacher really taught well, mm. and you thought an accountant is a big deal. Yeah. Then you find you are the clumsiest accountant <laughs> in the country. Imagine you don't enjoy what you do. If I go back to life again, I think I will change so many things career-wise. Yes, don't be, don't find yourself in that situation. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for clicking that button. Subscribe, like, share, leave a comment down below on what you want us to focus about. And yes, let's meet again next time, looking into another totally different profession. Thank you so very much and blessings.